All right, we're up to number 19, I believe. Let me just double check on that. Yeah, number 19 in the assembly manual. Uh, this is the front right bearing mount. What you're gonna have here is four holes for the M5 by eight screws. If you can get all of them tightened, go right ahead. But I only have three, and that's because if I ever need to take this on and off, there's going to be a bar here from the roller that's not gonna allow me. So I'm just gonna leave three of them. It's okay, at least two is the minimum. Uh, so three will definitely work to the pre-threaded holes here. Also for the top, I already put in the T-nuts on this side and on this side, as you can see. Here we go. Here, this side and this side. I already put in the T-nuts. And so it's ready to roll. Let's just put it in. Yes, they're supposed to be the back part of the gantry already in. I did not put it in because I want this to be easy viewed by you. So you can see what I'm doing when I do it. Um, the holes will line up automatically, so you don't have to worry because these holes are already pre-done by the printer already, and they're already threaded. I mean, they should be threaded. For some godforsaken reason, if your holes are not threaded, you thread them for M5 threads. And in my case, I am putting in the bolts now as we speak. And... There we go. That's why I made these such big holes so you can screw them from the front easily. Mm -hmm. Just gonna make sure that they're incorrect. Yep. All right, double check with the other tool. There we go. Hmm. Okay. And that is the front bearing mount. I think it's the shortest video just yet. Um, that's the front pre-ready for the next side. The next side is the motor mount side. That's a video on its own. So this will be the shortest video that I made. So let's keep going.